Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Malwarebytes Anti-Exploit. You may remember when it was called Exploit Shield. What this does, let me um, start the install so you can watch me do that while I explain to you. It's designed to protect you from zero-day exploits. As you know, your web browser people are always trying to find exploits to take advantage of your browser or different applications. What Malwarebytes Anti-Exploit is looking to do is to protect you from threats that have not been protected in your browser applications yet. So the install is pretty straightforward and using it is pretty straightforward. If you have Malwarebytes 3.0 Premium, you already have this installed and you can move on and click subscribe and we'll see you next time you're here because you don't need it. So essentially what this is, is this is a beta. So if you have the Malwarebytes 3.0, you're golden. If you don't, then you have the opportunity to download this, run it. If you use Malwarebytes, for example, in free mode and you just scan once in a while, then this is a nice add-on to have. Basically, as you can see, there's not much to it. You can come in here and stop the protection or start the protection. You really don't have to do too much else. As you saw, it started down here in the tray. You didn't even have to pay any attention to it. You can just run it and forget about it. It tells you here about all the applications and web browsers that it supports. As you can see, Firefox, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, SeaMonkey, Palmoon, all the popular browsers, pretty much odds are you're running one of those browsers. Uh, Adobe Reader, God knows we need protection from that. Microsoft Office, VLC Player, Winamp, and of course they add to this list as time goes on and improve it. Any logs or anything that happened, any exclusions if you want to put something in there that you don't want to have scanned. Your settings, which isn't too much, automatically upgrade log events, show the system tray notification tool tips. Don't ever forget the advanced setting if you want to get geeky with it. It explains a little bit here. If you don't know what these are, rather me sit here and waste time going through five of these, just Google them and you can decide which one you want to use for the most part, keep in mind that these are usually set up the way you want it. So you usually can just set it and forget it. And if you play around with it and change your mind, just restore the defaults and click apply. So once again, just to look at a couple other things, memory protection is very similar too. If you don't know what you're doing, don't sweat it. Just leave it be the way it is, it'll be fine. And Java protection, we know we need that. So once again, the about, which is always just uh, visit the website, blah, blah, blah. Um, there you go. Not much to it. So for most of you, download it, run it. As you saw me install it, set it, forget it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.